All right, so we're just down here prepping the boat to fish tomorrow. Um, we're just gonna go through a couple of rigs we use. Um, we're basically just using pin rigs for these ballyhoo, little small rubber bands. We're using a combination of like squid style heads, weighted to chugger heads. But yeah, I kind of put a variety out and then I'll just go from there depend on what, you know, what we start catching. All right, so we're gonna start this rig with a, I always do about an arm length and a half of 100 pound. Start out with a hook, you got two crimps, nose pin, and a lure. Um, so all you're gonna do is slide it through your crimp, make sure your crimp's the right size to your mono. Go through your hook eye, you're gonna go back through your crimp, come tight. You don't want it to be all the way up against the hook, you want to leave a little bit of room for it to move there. And then what I'm gonna do is take my nose pin here, I'm gonna slide it in between the two pieces of mono, and you're gonna crimp that in between the crimps here. You want to crimp the crimp right in the middle. You don't want to squeeze it on the two ends because it'll cut the mono. So you want to kind of have it flared up just a hair on either end. But you want to get a good crimp right there. Flip your nose pin up. Your nose pin will sit right there straight up in front of the hook and not go through the ballyhoo. Once you get done with that, you're gonna take your mono, come through your lure. It depends on, you know, you can put whatever kind of lure head in here you want. Go ahead and slide it away down to the hook. This will be your loop end that you hook your swivel into from your main line. Come back, go through the crimp. Come back through. I don't like to use a real big loop. Same thing, just crimp it right in the middle. Don't do it too tight, but make sure it's on the appropriate setting, appropriate crimp size. Yep, that's all there is to it. Yeah, so the first step we do when prepping ballyhoo is um, I always poke the eyes out of them, just get that flotation out of them. It usually helps them so they swim straighter in here. And when we're trying to pick out ballyhoo, what I'm looking for is that nice red tail, good red tip on the nose, um, good clear eyes, a good natural looking bait that looks like it just came out of the ocean. All right, now that we got all the eyes poked out of them, this is where I come over here with my scissors. And what I'm gonna do with my scissors here, I always cut both the fins off and I cut my beaks here. This is kind of how I start. Typically, I'll just cut a little slit right there in the butt too. That'll just help them when you squeeze the stuff out of them. All right, so next step you wanna do once you have them prepped, take your bait, hold it over water. What you're gonna wanna do is just lightly squeeze the uh, grass and stuff out of them here. Try not to squeeze your bait too hard. You don't wanna tear any of the body there. All right, so now that I got them all squeezed out, what I'm gonna do is take them, put them back in the water, kind of clean them up a little bit here. Um, I'm gonna take my, my station here. I'm just gonna clean this off real fast so I can get a good clean workstation. All right, so what you're gonna do, come through right between the gills on the ballyhoo. You're gonna run back to where your hook comes out. Your hook eye is gonna sit kind of right below the eyes of the actual ballyhoo. You're gonna take your pin, you're gonna come up dead in the middle and you're gonna go up through the middle of the top beak until your pin comes out. Take a rubber band, you're gonna hook it over the nose pin. And what I do is I go around it once, I go around it twice, and hook it back over the top of the nose pin. And just seat your bait right down on there, you're good to go. All right, baits are all done. We're gonna take the trays, put them in the cooler, start cleaning up a little bit, and we're ready to go for tomorrow. So we'll see you tomorrow.